Generation Z is the current generation of young people who don't get that interested in brands any longer. They can often see through empty rhetoric. And they actually believe that they can turn to zero or ought to be or have the capacity and the idealism to zero out global warming, famine, plague, war. They believe and they should have the capacity in their lifetimes to be aiming to do that. That's Generation Z. I, I hear my Generation Z saying to me, why bother? I mean, the information that I need is only an internet click away. And anyway, Google knows everything. Well, I like to think that I still know one or two things that Google doesn't know, but it won't be for long. So what is the point of education? I'm coming back to Generation Z believing it's either nationalism on the one side and protectionism or oppressive globalism on the other. What am I going to do? My view is that there's a third way, which is what I call glocalism, global and local. And this is where I want to talk about schools. As I travel the world, ladies and gentlemen, I find a world increasingly fragmented. Fragmented and yet super connected. And this is a paradox. And, and, and please tell me whether you disagree. We all belong to the virtual community. We are intimately connected with lots and lots of people around the world. The more we're connected, but the communities of old, of people, villages, churches even, families that were extended and lived close to each other, are existing less and less. And I've come to the belief that it is schools where we must concentrate on building those communities. And if we're in a wonderful school like this, which I think, Ray, you said 50 nationalities, if we can show young people ourselves by parents of those young people and getting involved ourselves with the teachers and the children, that triangle where the parents and the school are the two bases of the triangle, the children at the apex of the triangle to be launched off into life, if we can build those communities, we can show young people that they can actually bring nationalities together. They can get involved in, contribute to a community. They know what it means. They can take that beyond the school to the local, the regional level, the national level, and they can believe too. At the moment, I'm getting the sensation that people are seeing national and international as binary opposites. And one of the things we must do for Generation Z is keep up their optimism for the future. And one of the themes of what I'm saying is we need to build their self-confidence. That is everything. Because I do believe that through, if you like, this global thinking, this work that we can do as parents and educators, we can ensure that we can shape that future in order to help our children become what they want to become.